And at this hour, officers from all around the First Coast are looking for the man that you see here. This is 35 year old Patrick McDowell after he shot a Nassau County deputy during a traffic stop early this morning. The deputy, 29 year old Josh Moyers, is fighting for his life right now at UF Health tonight. Shot twice by the alleged suspect, once in the head and once in the back. And now we're in the 20th hour of the search for this suspect who law enforcement believe is hiding out somewhere in the Callahan Nassau County area. Thank you for joining us on this Friday night at 11. I'm Anthony Austin and I'm Jessica Clark. We have team coverage tonight across the region. We're going to start with on your sides. Brianna Ray Turner, who is keeping an eye on the active search for McDowell. Brianna, what's the latest? Yeah, I'm standing right here where the search is still happening right on US 301. And oh, by the way, the lanes are back open for vehicles to um, pass through. Um, but they're still on the manhunt, like you said, for 35 year old former uh, Marine um, Patrick McDowell. If you take a look behind me, um, there are officers, um, helicopters. They're about three in, in the air. They're using flashlights beaming down um, in these wooded areas. It's been about 20 hours. Um, since law enforcement agencies have been searching for McDowell, the man who officials say is the man accused of shooting a Nassau County deputy Joshua Morris this morning during a traffic stop. Again, now that it's darker outside, I've seen uh, three helicopters in the air still making its rounds around the perimeter. I also see state troopers all along US 301. Um, Charlie Wilkie, former canine handler for JSO, says since they are on a manhunt with a person with military training, law enforcement will most likely have to expand this search perimeter to find McDowell. He's been trained. He's been trained to, to probably in survival techniques of being out in the woods like he is, how to hide for the enemy, how to how to get resources to, uh, you know, like you said, in, in weapon and weapons, if he acquires other weapons, if he gets into a house, you know, at this point, we don't know what he's armed with. Wolke says that he wants to send his thoughts and prayers to the Moyers family. I'm live in Nassau County. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. Brianna, thank you. And with